guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a product review for you today. Um, the last couple ch like videos on my channel, I've been trying to mix it up. You know, I give a little book reviews, a few empties, fave products for hair care. Um, I even did a skincare inventory, which I plan on doing a makeup one because I, I noticed you guys, you know, have been requesting it. So um, today I'm just going to do a a product review. It's been something that I've been meaning to review for a while and I finally am gonna do it. So if you can already tell by the, the thumbnail of this picture of this review of this picture, um, I'm gonna talk about the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Um, this is what the packaging looks like if you're interested. It is 15% uh, L uh, ascorbic acid. So on the back, just to give a little background, on the back of the, of the container, it says Firm Brighten, uh, a revolutionary vitamin C serum packed with a powerful antioxidant complex of L as, as, ascorbic and ferulic acids and a chronopeptide that transforms into vitamin D to reveal a brighter, firmer, and even more and a more even looking complexion. The result is a noticeably diminished appearance of UV photo damage and aging replaced by incredible radiance and luminosity. So I've been using this now for a few months. Um, this is one fluid ounce and it's a pretty pricey product um i buy it at sephora now on its own i think it's about a hundred dollars and change um let me just i'm trying to look up i should have been prepared but yep yeah, oh no it's a hundred dollars on the dot look at that so it's a hundred dollars but you know in canada we pay taxes so that's a hundred dollars plus tax um it's a pretty it's a pretty hefty price tag but I find that I really do enjoy this. The packaging is airtight, uh, no light gets in. So you twist it and the pump comes up and then you pump it out. I'm not going to pump it because it's a waste of product and this shit is very expensive. Um, the only, the only thing that now, and this is an older bottle, like I've had this one from two, not two, maybe a year ago. I bought it a, over a year ago and, um, I know that they say that they like drunk elephant products expire quickly, but I've been using it like quite a bit, but I find that this bottle leaks at the top. So like when you tw twist it up, uh, see how there's a bit of leakage and I don't travel with it. I, I leave it at my house. So I don't know where this leakage is coming from. Um, and it's like sticky too, which is weird. Uh, I don't, I've read that the old packaging does tend to leak for this product. Um, and I read that the new packaging that they've, they fixed that problem. So I did in the most recent Christmas buy a set with this uh, vitamin C in it in the full size. So I'm hoping that but with my new packaging, it'll fix that issue because I don't like how it, it tends to leak here at the top. Um, that's not supposed to happen. That's the only complaint I have about it. Other than that, I do like this product. It is expensive, yes, but you only need one pump and you can use it day and night if you wish. Uh, some days I use it day and night. Some days I use it only in the morning. Some days I use it only at night. Uh, it depends. Usually when I have an acid going, like an AHA acid um, in my routine, I'll use the AHA at night and then I'll use this in the morning. If I don't have an acid going on at, in my nighttime routine, I will um, use this day and night. So, I mean, it all depends on, you know, how you want to do it. Um, they say that it's preferably used in the morning, this product, and that's great. If you want to use it just in the morning, by all means. Personally, for me, I use it either or day and night and I find that it works nicely. Um, I did have, I did have brown spots, sunspots in and around this area. They were kind of like freckles, like they were turning, they looked like freckles, but they were definitely sunspots. And I'm noticing that with this product, they started to diminish quite a bit. My skin doesn't have as many, um, sunspots on it anymore. Um, when I purchase again, yes, I have purchased this, uh, as a backup. I just purchased one just after Christmas this past year because once this runs out and I'm, I'm close to the end, I'm going to definitely need another one. So I have one in the wing waiting to crack open once this is complete. Um, it is expensive. I'm not going to lie. But for me, I always tell you guys my, you know, my truth when it comes to skincare, I feel that I will, I will invest more money in skincare products that absorb into the skin opposed to washing it off like a cleanser. So I will spend more money in serums, uh, face creams, uh, eye creams, give or take mainly serums and creams, face creams. And I will spend less money on cleansers, like, you know, facial cleansers, uh, you know, facial makeup, removing bombs, that kind of stuff, because 
that money goes down the drain when you wash it off. So where where I personally like to spend my money when it comes to skincare is in the stuff that actually sits on your face all day or night long. So um, Drunk Elephant is a uh, reputable brand, I find, when it comes to no garbage in their ingredients. Um, let me see here. What does it say? Uh, I mean, it, it offers you to mix it with their other products and, you know, take that with a grain of salt. You can use these products without having to use their other products. I don't, there's no rule or thought, you know, no law that you have to buy their other products to use one particular product. That's a whole load of crap. That's just, they want you to buy more of their stuff. Um, but personally for me, I love this because they don't have any, uh, harsh chemicals. They don't have any frag fragrance. Um, there's no parabens, all that kind of junk. There's nothing like that in there. And I like that it's an airtight, um, sealed packaging because then the vitamin C doesn't go bad when, um, because there's no light hitting it. Vitamin C is very, you know, particular when you have it in a clear bottle, it can definitely go bad a lot quicker. Um, it is a very thin formula, so this is probably going to be one of your first steps that you p use on your skin after you've cleansed and toned. Um, I personally will put this on after I've toned my skin, and uh, I let it sink into the skin for about five minutes, and then I go in with my face cream. Um, I have to say, this is not going to happen overnight. This You will start to notice, I think you'll start to notice a significant difference within the first month of using it. For me, I, I notice a difference after I've used it for uh, a month at, at the very least. So if you're looking for a miracle product here, uh, overnight, it's not going to do anything. You have to be consistent and you have to, you know, use it every day. Um, I was going to bring this with me traveling and I didn't because it's such a expensive, it's such an expensive product that I didn't want to risk either losing it, getting taken away at security. Um, so I left it at home when I went to Mexico, but but I have to say, when I left and I, I was away and I came back, um, my skin definitely missed, my skin definitely missed the serum. Like, I was glad to have it back in my life when I came home because I, I could tell my skin was really missing out on it. And I, you know, I wear sunscreen every day when I was in the sun. Um, and, you know, I protect my skin as much as I can. But for some reason, my skin was just, there was something missing to my skin when I wasn't using this for that week. And it definitely does help. Um, it is expensive. You have to really take that into consideration with your budget, but I say that if you use one pump every day, this will last you a good six months. I have to give you that. If not six, then maybe four and a half, five months. Um, and for me, that's a pretty long time. A lot of things can happen in five months, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, thumbs up, Drunk Elephant. You did great with this. The only thing I have... Um, I have to, you know, thumbs down is just your package leaking situation, which I, I've heard that has been fixed. So I'm hoping that with the next package that I use, the next bottle, that this is going to, you know, the packaging issue has been resolved. We'll see. Um, I have tried other stuff from Drunk Elephant before. Not sponsored. Always purchase with my own money. Um, you guys, I'm a very big skincare believer and I feel like investing in your skincare is probably one of the best things you can do because your, your skin is with you for the rest of your life. Makeup, you know, um, as much as there's a lot of chemicals and stuff in makeup and we, we put that on our face because let's face it, I'm wearing makeup today, you know, um, I'm, uh, I'm actually having a hormonal situation down here due to the fact of my monthly friend coming. Um, but, uh, you know, we all wear makeup at one point or another and, you know, we need to make sure that we take care of our skin that's underneath. I would like to give you guys other reviews on Junk Elephant products that I have and that I've tried. So leave me down below which one you want to see me do next and I will definitely put that on my list to do. Um, but yes, thumbs up. Junk Elephant, C from a Day Serum. Um, I don't know if I will go back to any other vitamin C. I do like the Ole Henriksen vitamin C, but um, I feel like this one is my favorite. Uh, out of the two, I believe this one is my favorite. This is a little more thinner. Um, the Ole Henriksen one is a, a more serum type where it is very thick. Um, this one is more of a, a very, I want to say light, uh, consistency, like almost like water that just, you know, dives into the skin right away. Um, I prefer this one over the Ole Henriksen, uh, Ole Henriksen one, but they're both good. But this one I prefer the most and go figure it's more expensive. What can I do? I have bougie style and skincare. Not necessarily, because I've heard of La Mer stuff, and I have a, a, a sample size of the La Mer cream. 
I think I've tried it before and I was not impressed. So not necessarily everything high end impresses me. So let me just, you know, get that out, of, out in the clear. Um, but you know, I'm okay with spending $100 on a serum if it's going to do the job. And for me, this does work. And I feel like it's great because it doesn't have a lot of harsh chemicals, no fragrance, all that kind of stuff that a lot of skincare brands do have in their, in their ingredient deck. And I feel like if you can take it out of your skincare, that's just one, you know, better thing that you don't have to worry about. Right. So, um, yeah, trunk elephant, you do me right. You do me right. There's a few things that I've already tried from their, like from their brand that, um, I really do enjoy if you want me to talk on those then let me know down below and uh, I really want to try their retinol that just came out I feel like their retinol would be amazing but I feel like I would get a month of bad skin as my skin purges with that and I don't know if I'm like mentally ready for something like that do you guys know what I mean I don't know maybe that's just me I feel like when um, when I use the drunk elephant framboise like glycolic night serum my skin went through a month of purging and it was awful and um that was last year i actually bought another bottle of that because i do like that as well but uh if you want to see a video on that let me know um so i feel like my, my mind's not mentally ready to go through another purging phase with my skin so we'll see um i do have a prescription retinol that i've been given by my doctor i just haven't done it yet because i know that that's going to what's going to happen is my skin's going to purge and now with the good weather coming and everything i don't know if i want my skin to be purging like i'd rather do that in the winter time i don't know is that just me let me know down below what your thoughts are on that when, when would you rather want your skin to purge in the winter or in the summer i'd like to hear your thoughts because i still haven't made up my, my mind yet on when i want my skin to purge um other than that thanks for watching it was a very quick opinionated video and you know straight to the point uh, at the end of the day, you guys make up your own choices. So take mine with a grain of salt, make your own decisions and go from there. I'm just here to give you what I feel, you know, I think is, is great, uh, a great product. And, you know, I always give you guys my honest truth because I would never want you to get something that there is a waste of money. It doesn't work. You know, we all, we all work hard for our money. So I wouldn't want you to waste your hard earned money on something that I potentially could warn you about, uh, firsthand, but Drunk Elephant, you do me right. You do me right with this product. I have no complaints except for the packaging leak. Um, uh, I just hope that it's fixed, as they say in the media. Um, if you're not uh, if you're not following Drunk Elephant, definitely check out their Instagram. At least to check out their other products and what they you know what they do for you. I feel like um, they put a lot of information in their Instagram that maybe not many people know about, and I feel like it's very informative personally for me. But anyways, I digress. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope you guys are excited because spring is just literally almost a week away and I have a spring giveaway coming. So actually if I post this, if I'm posting this this week, we might be a few days away from spring and my plan is to post my spring giveaway in the next few days. So stay tuned because I have a spring giveaway coming and there's some really cool goodies in there for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out. Um, thank you all for coming back and watching. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Mwah.